Hey guys, Justin here from 420 Consulting with another episode of Follow Up Friday. Really big thanks to Rishi Sharma for uh, spending some time with us last week and sharing some of his stories of me and his uh, journey on what hopefully will be an MLA seat for him in Sandwich South. Um, we had a really, really cool interaction with one of his uh, campaign staff, Steve, and Steve's gonna tell a story after I speak with you now about his journey with cannabis and how it's helped him with his Parkinson's disease. And what that really did was kind of inspire me to do a little bit of a challenge with my father-in-law. My father-in-law suffers from really debilitating pain that modern medicine, Western medicine, hasn't really found a solution for. They've done a gauntlet of tests and they just really haven't found what the problem is. So I reached out to my friends at Real Heal and I got them to make me a special formulation, really high CBD, full spectrum CBD, so that's CBD derived from cannabis plants. Um, and we're gonna do a one month challenge where each of us takes, my father-in-law and myself, we take three doses a day and we're gonna you know, kind of uh, map out his progress, see how how much of the prescription medications he can come off of, and see if this really helps him out. Now, uh, I love the stories, and I'm really excited to share Steve's story with you guys uh, just after this video, but I'd love to hear your stories. Send me your story, and for the three best stories we get, we're gonna send you guys out a trial bottle of Real Heal CBD Full Spectrum, um, so share your stories, and uh, without further ado, here is Steve's story. You guys know that I'm super passionate about the uh, medicinal benefits of cannabis products and cannabis derivatives. Um, so anytime I get to tell somebody's story and share somebody's story of the success of cannabis in treating illnesses that have traditionally been treated by uh, pharmaceutical drugs or frankly just haven't been able to be helped, um, I'm really eager to kind of tell that story. So we're here with Steve. Hi. He has uh, what? early onset Parkinson's. Early onset Parkinson's. So yeah. I'm sure there's many of our viewers that have, um, you know, uh, parents, grandparents that are suffering from this uh, debilitating condition. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe you can tell our viewers a little bit about your yeah. story. Well, yeah, well, some of the background is uh, um, a good friend of mine, Rishi Sharma, who um, in real time, you just interviewed, um, he, uh, he did an interview here and uh, it's, it's funny because he's like, oh, I'm sorry I didn't mention about cannabis and Parkinson's. I said, well, the cool thing is that you don't notice I have it because of CBD and, and, and that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's not just the grandparents and older people who get it. The early onset piece um, is for young professionals. It's huge right now, right? Yeah. Um, so we have to be mindful of that. And I wouldn't be functioning uh, if it weren't for that. I'm a little nervous right now. So yeah, that, that, that's that's that. Right. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah especially with Parkinson's, because it's about uh, the dopamine production, uh, distribution, uh, and reception in your mind, right? Right. Uh, and for some reason, the CBD makes it so that half the pharmaceuticals they want me to take, I don't have to. That's so right? awesome. And uh, we hear this story, all, like this, oh, yeah. I hear this story all the time, and it really warms warms me, and it warms me like when I see people that have got positive, positive experiences, yeah. and, and life-changing, really, right? Like, oh yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to function uh, without that, I mean, the pharmaceutical self as well, but having those CBD drops in the morning and in the evening, I sleep better, my life's better, I can spend more time with kids, with my wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. How did you get introduced to, to CBD? Well, a friend of mine, who's actually my tattoo guy, um, where I'm from, he uh, uh, he took it for cancer. Okay. Um, and actually doesn't have throat cancer anymore. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. And, yeah. and he's like, I don't want to tell people because they'll think I'm nuts. I'm like, yeah, but... Um, and then, of course, you research what, what goes on with Parkinson's and how it affects you and what to do. And I started taking CBD. Uh, in the evenings and the morning, that's it's just been amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. It is. It's, it is pretty it's, cool. It's uh, so, like I said, it's just like uh, I, we hear these stories all the time, but it's, sometimes it's it's really nice when we can communicate that to. Yeah, it started people, with a, right? with a with a with a prescription basis, and then um, as things got more legalized and done, I got a bit more on that, and then yeah, so it's just part of the part of the life. There's there, there's no stigma to it um, uh, for me or my family or anyone else. They see it as something that. Uh, kind of brought me back from the dead, right? I used right. to walk around like the old guy from The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, and then once I got diagnosed and, and got some pharmaceutical stuff going, and then the amount of pills I have to take is half of what they recommend. That's awesome. Because of, yeah, it's really That's good. awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, really, like, that's another big thing we'd like to see in this upcoming provincial election from my perspective is cannabis being treated more like medicine um, and, and not this st stigma that it carries with, with the recreational side of, of the drug. This is real stories from real yeah. people that this really helped. And yeah, well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a functioning professional being what I'm able to do without it. Yeah, and that's awesome, and that's and that's contributing to thank you, Canada. <laughs>
Thank you so much for you taking bet. the time, man. I really appreciate it, man. We gotta get back on the camp trip. Thanks for telling me the story. Oh, yeah. Sharma, please. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.